Good morning, everyone. We're back. It's been ages, absolutely ages, but um, we've missed you. We've missed making the videos. Um, yes, we've had a busy few weeks, but we are now on with the greenhouse. So the greenhouse basically had to move. It's in the wrong place for where we're doing the um, extension. Uh, it was just going to be in the way. It was probably going to get banged or smashed pieces or even more smashed pieces as you'll find out but uh, effectively we have started the renovation of the greenhouse so at least we're doing something and here's a little intro into what we're doing so the greenhouse we we spent last year actually growing a few of tomatoes chili plants but really the greenhouse was in the wrong place so at the back of the garden where those shrubs are so let's clear it out and really go for making it a nice new modern greenhouse so we needed to clear some space make a platform and base for it about eight foot by eight foot roughly in uh, size a lot of hardcore to compact down and, and build out uh, some slabs because charlotte has a, a few little ideas of how we can make those slabs look uh, a little bit more than just a concrete base but my first challenge was how can I get that wheelbarrow up those stairs so I had to become a little bit of inventive and took it upon myself to use some of the old wardrobe from when we ripped out upstairs and see if we could make a little ramp I would say it's pretty good success, wouldn't you? It seems to do the job. Here's all the hardcore. That was so backbreaking, shifting all of that by hand, but hey, had to do it. Had to get it up there to make a level base for where the slabs are gonna fit. Many trips later, we finally started to take shape and Charlotte was able to really start to break it into position and uh, shape up the actual uh, square where we'd laid out. So a bit of help from Stanley as usual. I think in total we raised the height by maybe um, 20 centimetres. I uh, got my laser level out to really just sort of give us that uh, overall view and then it was onto the fun stuff. So we managed to borrow a whacker plate from Charlotte's uncle. Um, me a little while to understand exactly how to start it but once we got going it was uh, pretty good fun something new i've never used one before but really straightforward to use and um really sort of bashing down that type two and, and getting it into a firm base ready for the uh, slab paving slabs to be laid on Then it was onto the sand, so I decided not to actually concrete these in uh, and just lay them on a sand base. So I had another ton bag of sand delivered and we went about laying these in and giving them a, a nice sort of level base. And um, yeah, it took shape pretty well. It's the first time laying um, paving slabs myself, but um, wasn't too difficult. Um, hardest bit was moving them around. They're so awkward and heavy. Uh, moving them into position once they're there was just uh, a little frustrating, but managed to get it done. And yeah, I'm pleased with how they took shape. So I was nicely minding my own business when this little friend appeared. He absolutely scared the living daylights out of me. He jumped straight across the pavers that I'd just laid, ran up into this corner. Honestly, I don't know if I just didn't expect it at all. He really, really made me jump, but cute little thing. Um, it appears he's got a little uh, group of them further down at the bottom corner of the garden. So left them alone, made sure Stanley didn't go near them. And um, yeah, here we have a nice finished base. And it's level. And that will do us for today's episode. Thank you very much for coming along with us, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe so you will see the next videos because part two, you can see we get a lot further with the transformation on this greenhouse.